All right, so in this example, we're being asked to factor x to the fourth power plus one. So this is typically something you would be doing in calculus, right? So this has a calculus application. So let's go ahead and talk about how we're gonna do this. Now, the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just rewrite what we have, right? So I have x to the fourth plus one. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite it the following way. I'm gonna say x squared in parentheses and then to the second power and then I'm going to do plus one in parentheses to the second power all right well mathematically that's the same thing we just rewrote it okay and what I'm going to do here is just assign my terms some variables so I'm just going to call this a and I'm going to call this b right so writing this in terms of the variables we have the following we're going to have a squared plus b squared. Well, what's the point of doing this? Well, this is very similar to what you would have if you did the following. If we have a plus b in parentheses and then squared, well, when we expand this out, we're going to have the following. We're going to have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if I can write it like this, I'll be able to factor it, okay? So what I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite what we have right here. I'm going to say at the bottom, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, okay? But the issue is, this is no longer what we originally had. So how can we make it the same? Well, we can do the following, right? This term is not part of the original, so how do we make it the same? Well, we simply just do the opposite sign. We're gonna do minus two AB, okay? So now mathematically, this is the same as what we originally had, but look at my first three terms. I can now factor them, right, based on what I have here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and factor it. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just replace my variables with what we actually have. So putting our values into our variables, we're gonna have the following. We have x squared, right, because that's a, and then we have squared plus two times x squared times one, right, and then plus one squared, right, moving on, minus two times a, again, which is x squared, and then b is one, okay? So again, now I have my first three terms that I can go ahead and factor in this format. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again, these first three terms are gonna be factored now. So we're gonna have, well, what's a? a is x squared. What's b? b is one, so plus one. All right, and then this is just going to be squared. And then we have this at the end. I'm just gonna go ahead and simplify it down. It's really negative two x squared, all right? So what I want to do at this point is think about a difference of two squares, right? Which is a squared minus b squared. Well, if we were to write this, it would be a minus b times a plus b, okay? Well, I'm almost there except for this term. So I want to rewrite this. I want to square this whole term. So doing that, I'm going to get the following. I'm going to write it right here. We're going to get x squared plus 1 squared. Think about how you can rewrite this so the whole term is squared. It's just going to be the following. Okay, we're going to have the square root of 2 and then x. And this whole thing will be squared. Think about how that works. Go back to your properties of exponents. This two is going to both the square root of two and x. So the square root of two squared is just two, and then x squared is well x squared. So now we're set up for a difference of two squares. All right, so let's talk about what we're gonna do next. Let's go ahead and erase what we have here. So I'm just gonna erase this work. So we can continue on. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite what we have here. So we have x squared plus 1. This is going to be squared. And then minus, we have the square root of 2x and then squared. 
All right, so same thing. I'm going to assign variables to what I have here. I'll just call this whole thing in parentheses A. This whole thing here will be B. All right, so this is a difference of two squares. Let's use our template and go ahead and plug it in. So we're done with this. Doing this, we're going to get the following. So A is what? Well, A is this whole thing here we have in parentheses. It's x squared plus 1. Let's move on to B. So that's going to be the square root of 2x, so minus square root of 2x. Okay, let's move on. Again, a, what we have here, x squared plus 1. What is b? Well, b is what we have here, the square root of 2x. This time it's positive. Okay, and technically you could leave it like this, but right, we want to have our constants at the end. So let's go ahead and rewrite this, and then we'll be done. So we're writing this in a different color for our final answer. We're going to get x squared. Here we're going to get minus the square root of 2x plus 1. Okay. And then we get x squared plus the square root of 2x plus 1. This is now factored. So we just factored x to the fourth plus 1. Okay. And that is it.